one in high school, <laughs> but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I like to go to the back of the pub, and make out with one of my cousins. <laughs> about it there, but I do know, um, when you work at a pet store and you want to have more pets to sell, you've got to meet the pets, and so sometimes you've got to get the animals to get married and they, they have a lovely life together. Um, one of them is, I remember this one time, there's, there's these special little birds that we have, they're wild, I mean they're just crazy animals. Uh, they're little cockatoos, and these little cockatoos, they do this little behaviour where when they're ready to marry, they look at each other and they go, and they stare at each other like that. And then, if you watch very closely, you'll notice one of them starts to do a little wiggle. He starts to do a little shake. And then all of a sudden, they're going like this all over the place. And man, let me tell you, they smash it out of the park when they're doing that. And they, and they go along and they do their little feet dance, and then suddenly you've got more cockatoos. <laughs> so like a <laughs> That's a the middle section right here, what's what's another question you want advice about? How to choose anatomy. When should I kiss her? How do you... Alright, just keep talking about. Hey, that just told me. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I That was not what I heard, but let's go with just dealing with guilt. How to deal with guilt. Alright. Um, Want to yeah, no, I mean, sometimes when you manage a pet store, there's a lot of different animals, and you've got to make sure that you get all their diets right and all their um, cages and all the stuff going on. Um, and one time I remember there was this wild creature, just a beautiful creature. Uh, it was a little uh, it was a little garden snake, and he was a lovely little thing. Uh, but sometimes he'd freak out little kiddos, you know, they'd be a bit scared, they'd be a bit shy about him. Um, and so, and so what we have to do is you have to make sure they don't get out. I remember one time, one of them escaped, and I was like, oh no, that's not good. And I was freaking out, I was looking all over, I was like, oh, there's got to be a snake around here somewhere. And I was looking all down low, and I was getting under the covers, and I couldn't find him. And then one day, I came in to work, and there was this little girl, and she was just getting a little bunny, because you know how little girls do, and um, she saw the snake, and she went, hi! Oh, mate, that's a snake on the ground. And I said, oh, that's no good. And so I get him and I grab him and I, I, I put him back in his cage. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, um, sometimes the guilt of the past can help us create action in the future. The 1930s were a dark time for Europe. <laughs> Ofaldo Tilray was, of course, reigning the zany party in Germany. <laughs> and England, of course, wasn't getting much support from their monarch, King Grogogo IV. And so, they weren't for sixth. I'm not that good at UK history, I'm an Americana professor. <laughs> and they weren't sure where to look to, but of course, there was the great Prime Minister, Swanton Licorice. <laughs> and he had suffered horrible defeats in World War I. Horrible defeats. And with that guilt, he was able to lead the country to success, not only in the war, but economically for the future. So from this side, what, what's another question that's plaguing your lives you need an answer to? How to save money? How to save money? What job? How do you get a job? Getting, I'm hearing a lot about getting a job, getting a new career. Um, let's let's hear about that. Let's see what you got to say. We didn't get to hear from a lot first. Yeah, we didn't hear from some. Oh, sometimes they don't have an answer. It happens sometimes. We'll hear we'll hear from Sersha this question. Can we hear from question, please. Uh, so so how to get a new job? All right. <laughs> I was just staring longingly, like I didn't know what to do with that. I'm having trouble too, guys. All right, Professor Dogberry. 
in 2008, the country was not very healthy, and I mean that in a physical way. <laughs> Obesity was on the rise, and the administration of Grogogo W. Shub was not helping. <laughs> and, but with the new president, we saw new hope in Karaba, <laughs> and of course, his beautiful wife, Lickham. <laughs> Madam Lincoln Muba was to adopt the role of a health expert and take us from the uh, pyramid to the my plate. Uh, and those uh, policies didn't exactly carry over into Dodolin Muppeter. But we were able to see in those years how taking on a new role can really help someone and help the country as well. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so um, I haven't had to look for very many jobs. I just did once when I came to this country. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you how I applied. Um, the thing that they want to see from you is they want to see practical skills, right? So I told them, hey, I'm an animal expert. I can wrangle any beast you got in here. And they says, all right, that's fine. But I says, no, show them. So I walk on over. I walk on over to the rabbit cage and I let one out. And this little rabbit, you know, he's a little fella, get down on you like you're a rabbit. Right, he's a little fella, he's just going around, running around, and I says, oh, I'm gonna get him now. And I chase him down, and I track him down, and I hold him in, and I, I get on top of him, and then I say, all right, it's time, mate! And I grab him, you gotta grab him really tough by the scruff, or else they're gonna get away. Right, they're fickle beasts, they're gonna be smashing around. And this little fella, let me tell you, he was kicking like a wall of beer, doing a penalty shot. I mean, he was going at it. And so I, I, I just grab him, and I, and I hold him down, and I take him and I pick him up by the little scruff, and I, I put him back in his cage, and I say, there you go, Mr. Floppers, and I got the job. Last but not least, by popular demand. <laughs> I don't know about jobs. But I come from the part of Ireland where the dirt's made of bones. Find some bone dirt. <laughs> to another game, and this is the game of World's Worst, and for this game I need all the players to the front! So, the game of World's Worst is quite simple. We're gonna get a suggestion, and you're gonna see the World's Worst of that suggestion, and that is how the game is played. Um, so, just shout out an occupation. Let's hear it. Beyonce! Engineer! Engineer. World's Worst Engineer. I'm an engineering major. Boo! Oh, boo! Oh, You're wonderful, Austin! Oh. I'm, I'm not an engineering major, but I look like an engineer. <laughs> what do you mean the engine's not working? Hit it with a wrench! <laughs> you now have the first mechanical ear. Oh no, it's not working! Your engine ear isn't working! <laughs> <laughs> um, for this app, what's just an object you'd find in your house? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go up a little bit, we have a group to that. <laughs> blender. World's worst blender. <laughs> Time for some fruit salad. <laughs> now I have two apples. <laughs> okay, YouTube 3D animation tutorial. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time to make a milkshake. Oh, I can still hear my family. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, all right. We're gonna go back, we're gonna back, we're gonna back a little. All right, uh, let's get another occupation. Therapist. What was that back there? Not an occupant, maybe. Smurf. <laughs> I painted myself green. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Papa Smurf. I'm very large. <laughs> Hi, David. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt. Yes, I know no one else wears the shirt, David. My chest is cold. <laughs> Quick, feed me, the, feed me the numbers of binary. If only I knew binary. Oh no, my son or daughter, Smurf. All right, we're gonna get one more occupation to shout it out. Rabbi, there is a DJ. I know DJ. World's worst DJ. Oh no, it's backwards. Oh no, the letters are backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're gonna we're gonna do a new song now. That's it, Dave the Club. <laughs> Mr. Woods, you you do you DJ? Yes, I mix music live. You have Beautiful eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to the wedding. Let's get this started. talk it out and figure it out. Well, that is exactly what they will be doing, <laughs> but a little bit different. So what's going to happen is they're going to have two different relationships to each other, and they are not going to know what the other person thinks that relationship is. Oh. Yes, lots of confusion, lots of relationship drama. And so they're going to have to work it out and figure out what are they. And so um, we're going we're gonna to need some types of relationships. Uh, think like Mother, son, or like doctor and patient, lots of things, but let's get a non familial relationship. Oh, Co worker. A teacher and a tree. That is good. A lawyer and a Bigfoot and photographer. Bigfoot and photographer. I'll take the dog. I'll take the dog trainer and dog. Dog trainer and dog. And then, and then another relationship. Let's get here and help. Twin family. Therapist. I'm going to go, go to the top. Can you up from the top? All right, top. <laughs> Grave digger and corpse. I'm thinking of course. All right, so we have the dog and the dog trainer and Jeff Bezos and Alexa. <laughs> Um, on the count of three, we're just gonna go woo woo and get them back in here. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> 
pink's really uniform. <laughs> well done. Now make some noise so they can't hear what I'm saying to the other. <laughs> speak thanks to the power of duct tape. <laughs> and we're going to do a scene and it's going to be fun and dandy as we watch our favorite three monkeys do our favorite scene. All right, um, I need a suggestion of you look into a treasure chest, you're disappointed with what's in that treasure chest because you found another treasure chest which has a paper airplane. Paper airplane is your suggestion. Players, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> ah, my airplane dinner. Lovely. <laughs> I love first class. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> and what? Oh, you are the in-flight entertainment. Lovely. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have fire on a plane. Oh no. 
Oh, this is your pilot speaking. <laughs> I thought there was a fire. Sir, you're supposed to be flying the plane. But there's a fire on my plane. I can't do, I can't do that. Oh, oh, where are we going? What is happening? Oh, oh his poor hands. Oh, they must be burning. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yes, of course, the fire. Thank you. I'm pulling it out with my hands. <laughs> I will get back to the pilot seat. I will Please, get back sir, we're starting to rock in a moment. Okay, yes, that's what. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think we should call airline security, maybe. <laughs> sir, 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 sir. You're my flight attendant. Yes, I agree. That's a good idea. <laughs> Nathan, Austin, and Noel to the stage. Yeah! And I need another one of you to get the heck out of here. Alright, uh, All right, so what's going to happen in the game of Newsflash is I'm going to have someone put down Mr. Projector here. And there's going to be some breaking news going on. And our two Hello. broadcasters have to help the news reporter figure out what is going on. And we're going to project that thing onto back here, so choose your suggestions carefully. I'm going to go to the back for this one, but I'm going to need something that you would see like in a documentary or the History Channel. In a swamp. Mini Polar bear hunter. Fishing for cocaine. The building of the pyramids. Uh, breaking news. Someone stole the pyramids. Oh. Is that a Sorry, that's going to be a very hard thing to find a YouTube clip of. <laughs> We're not saying Despicable Me will get back for copyright when we post these videos later. <laughs> All right, so we have our suggestion. We're getting things ready. <laughs> Give it another five seconds. So we're not going to turn it on yet because it's our show. Austin is in here. So on the count of three, I'm going to need you to yell, Austin. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm doing good, Renee. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I've been to a lot of places. This has gotta be the ugliest of them all. <laughs> like, I'm gonna need a long vacation after this. No, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> <laughs> it looks... Long vacation. Yes, now Jim, it looks like there's a lot of people hard at work there. How have they been, how have they been faring? You know, this nation was built on the backs of hard workers like this. <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. I'm glad they're here. <laughs> we are too. Uh, tell me, uh, how does it feel to be uh, 
there on the site and looking at uh, the designs of such an amazing uh, accomplishment. Oh, well, you know, I just think it's amazing all how, how these people were able to come together and really make something that people can see for hundreds of years. <laughs> Yes, I'd say longer than that. And, and do you have any, uh, any thoughts on the extraterrestrial theories we've been hearing recently? <laughs> now, I'm a man of science myself. Um, and, you know, those aliens, they, they, they're coming over to help us with this big construction project. So I, I really appreciate what they're doing here. <laughs> We, we can see right now, Jim, that there seems to be some problems with the building. There's uh, some pieces missing, actually. Yeah, I don't know uh, what those workers are up to. I think those unions are at it again. <laughs> Austin, what, what are you reporting on? It's the building of the pyramids. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Practice, we, yes. All of us, you think, wow, these guys are all really talented and attractive. <laughs> Could I ever be like them? Yes. We got here because we're members of Laugh Out Loud, BYU's Improv Club, and we practice together every Thursday in the Crabtree Building Auditorium. You can come, you don't have to audition, and we accept people of all uh, experience levels, so if you just want to come and be funny with us, we'd love to have you. Uh, could you raise your hand if you're a club member in the audience right now? <laughs> These people are all funnier than you, but that can change. <laughs> If you want to hear more about our next show and about everything else that we're up to, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That is... LOL.BYU, probably. LOL.BYU. LOL.BYU on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Join us. Join us. Let's take it over. We'll have, a, we'll have a show in October. Yay. At some point. <laughs> Historically, we have a Halloween show, and we tell the audience to dress up, and no one ever does. So please do it. season is upon us. Dress up, people. Alright. Let's see, who can I ask? Sound guy, do you have any other announcements? Oh, I've just got one announcement. Hey, Matt, I'm real sorry for missing the mute button twice last show. I got a special song for you to make up for it. Okay. I swear to you, that's the Thomas thing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and Thomas was very angry. Some guys cause confusion and delay. <laughs> You're a blessing to us all, some guy. Thank you. <laughs> all right, and so for our last game of the half and of the show, because it's the second half, we're gonna play Weekend at Bernie's, and for this, I need Noel, Andrew, Austin, and Brayden to the front. <laughs> We were just talking about spooky season, and what's more spooky than death? So what's going to happen is we're going to see a quick scene 
and they're going to do a scene. However, we're going to repeat this scene again and again, except each time one of the players will be dead, and they will have to move them around as if they were alive. A la the movie with Bernie's that we don't endorse, but it's a fun game. All right, so I need one more suggestion for that suggestion. Uh, what's some place for an awful date? The power plant. The power plant. The power plant. The zoo. The zoo. We're not responsible for what your tastes are. If you think the zoo is terrible, that's on you. All right. Players, are you ready? Yes. yes. I'm glad they made poaching so much easier. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tasty leaves. <laughs> I wonder if my human friends will be here. Ah. Oh. Hello. Security. No. Security, please. Hi, <laughs> Conan. Put your hands up. Oh, thank you. I am. <laughs> I am the pride giraffe of this zoo. You think you can sneak in and kill me? I'll get your horns eventually, gi giraffe! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take you far, far away to the gorilla pen. No! <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to clap if you want them to die. Uh, clap if you want... <laughs> Lovingly, it's for the gang. We care about them. Just show noise to show that you care. Andrew! Yeah! Austin! Yeah! Brayden! Yeah! Noel! Yeah! <laughs> they want to keep you alive. <laughs> Andrew? Yeah! Brayden? Yeah! Brayden, I think you're dead. Oh. <laughs> Players, are you ready? Yes! Oh, I love me some poaching! <laughs> oh, what lovely leaves. It's the season. <laughs> I wonder where my human friends are. Whoa! Security! No, please! Security! No, not... Come on! They're so efficient, they'll catch you this instant! <laughs> I'm terrified! Think you could sneak into my cage and kill me? I'll oh, have greatest giraffe. I'll have your horns eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, for your punishment to the gorilla enclosure. No, not the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> Y'all know the drill. Andrew. Yeah. Austin. Yeah. Noel. Yeah. A little bit better, still not quite. Andrew, you're gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Players, are you ready? Yes. 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 Oh, they make poaching so easy today. <laughs> it's practically already gone. <laughs> oh my, I love these things. Where are my human friends? Fun. <laughs> what? Give me 
me. I'm gonna get your horns <laughs> someday. No, it's a reliant closure for you. No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> 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 